we're all mind readers, not of the magical or mystical variety, but rather of the natural variety, the kind that we do every day of our lives, every five minutes of our lives, and every social interaction that we have. Does she love me or not? Is he truthful or not? Does she have good intentions or bad intentions? This is the kind of mind reading that forms the backbone of all of our social interactions. Are we any good at it? Consider a simple experiment that we did at the Museum of Science and Industry a little while ago where we asked married couples to predict how the other person would respond to a series of 20 different questions. By chance alone, you'd get three out of these 20 correct. We asked questions like, I think we're too heavily in debt today. Or, if I had my life to live over again, I sure would do things differently. How many did people actually get correct predicting their spouse? They did a little better than chance. They got five out of 20 correct when chance would have been three out of 20. But the interesting thing is, we asked them how many they thought they predicted correctly, and they thought they had predicted their spouse correctly 12 out of the 20 times. In my book, Mind Was, I describe the research we've been doing over the last couple of decades, trying to understand how and how well we think about the minds of others. Our ability to reason about other minds is a remarkable human ability shared by no other species on the planet. It often works well but not nearly as well as we think it does, and it leads to frequent misunderstanding between people. MindWise will not turn other people into open books, but it will help you to understand other people better.